Hello all, it's me, Lauren. Anyway, I just thought I would tell you about my childhood and how I was babied by my mother. I mean, basically, I was, you know, babied because I had CP or cerebral palsy. CP for short. The form known as spastic diplegia. So, I was born in 1985. This was at a time when, like, CP was just kind of started to get around. Not really, not really existed, always it existed. I mean, it's always, it just be known as a little disease, but I mean, when it's when it started being diagnosed on a regular basis, when people had it. And so, my parents didn't know what to expect. I was very attached to my mother. The only problem is, she never let me, she never let me do anything by myself, or taught me how to do anything for myself, so... Basically, I absorbed her personality with, and had fears of not being able, able to do anything by myself. I mean, to, to not, not, not to be gross, but to actually, you know, to, to, expo to in, explain how, I guess, how severe um, this issue was, I didn't learn how to wipe my own butt going number two until I was ten. That's how bad, that's how bad it was. Anyway, I mean, eventually, I, you know, I, I, as I matured, I started to do more things on my own with the help of my father at the time as well. But then I, but then my mother passed away in early 2001. I went to live with my father. And he pretty much, you know, he taught me a few things here and there. How to fold towels, how to put your own laundry away. But for the most part, he pretty much, you know, his main focus was, uh, I guess, the materialism and money aspect of things. He can, you know, I went to college, you know, he pushed me to get a job straight off the bat. Luckily, he did, uh, you know, use a lot of his time to help me get around to interviews and whatnot, so I mean, that was always a good thing. The only problem is because I was, you know, because I was reliant on his transportation, I didn't bother um, fighting with them that often or taking my own power back when we got into fights. Because I always figured if I didn't have my father then I couldn't go to work on time. And then I absorbed his personality in regards to materialism and money as well. Don't get me wrong, money is a great thing. It, helps, it, it can help you do a lot of things. It's a tool to use to get places, things like that, you know. The more money you have, then the better the, the better off you are for one yourself. But the better, but the more you can share with the other people. And so, I mean, never, never, you know, bash money whatsoever. But either way, I mean, I had an unhealthy obsession with, uh, I guess, material goods, and uh, I lost my personality in my own job or my last job that I had because I feared. If I could, you know, if I wasn't working right or had my own thoughts, then that was a bad sign because I wasn't focused on my, on my job as much. And so, you know, some turn events, you know, came came around. My father passed away. Before this, I tried to drive for about four years by my, you know, with with the use of hand controls, but the D M V still told me no. So I mean, that's why I stopped trying to learn how to drive myself because. After about almost half a decade, if they still say no, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a very slim chance if I ever get it right. So I mean, why bother what you can't even do? Maybe I'll try again one day. Who knows? But either way, after my father went to the hospital and then passed away, I learned how to become more self-sufficient. I'm still learning still learning all these things now. I'm not doing too bad of a job, but I but I could be doing better. If I would have realized a lot of things sooner, such as, you know, how to be more balanced between uh, work and play, how to let go of things easier or let go of other people's opinions faster when, it, when, I don't, when I don't agree with them, I could have been a lot better off. But, you know, that's what life is all about, experiencing experience. The more experience you have, then the more you can teach others as well. Fine. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm at a diner and the waitress keep coming over asking me if I'm okay.
Yeah, I, I come here quite a bit, but I'm, you know, I have to come here as often as I normally do. But yeah, so I've, you know, I've been living, living on my own for a year. I'm pretty healthy. Not, you know, nothing, nothing terrible outside of the CP. Then again, that's a birth defect, so you can't really get rid of that. But I mean, you know, I'm paying the bills all on my own. I'm, you know, getting around all on my own. You know, I, I lost my job, so now I have to find a new job by myself. As well as pack up all my stuff and move, probably by myself as well. I don't know how I'm going to pull that one off, but I'm sure that some somehow I'll manage. If, if, if I've already made it this far all by myself, then surely I can make it the rest of the way. Hopefully, I can, you know, ask for, ask someone for help at some point, and they'll actually say yes, they can help. I've asked for help, some, you know, a few times before, and people have always told me no, or give me the runaround why they can't help. So, that's the way that is. It's fine, I'm no bad blood toward anybody, it's just, you know, things are the way that they are, but I have to figure out how to get past these difficulties or obstacles. But we'll see what happens, you know, it's never too late to take your power back. You can always change your ways. I let, my, you know, my mother and my, my father, their personalities kind of, you know, embed, embed inside me or rest inside me. And I should not have, I should have developed my own talents and personality a lot sooner than I did. <laughs> Even if you're old, doesn't matter how young you are, you know, start developing your traits now. Your own, your own talents will serve you well in the future. If you have a talent, no matter how, how stupid you may seem, start working on it, develop into something, and then you won't have to uh, go through a lot of crap. Because you, you have your own talent to fall back on. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Keep pushing forward and stay epic.